Hello, everybody. Welcome to a brand new series or mini series on Poker Quest, the roguelike card game RPG, I guess. I mean, it's centered, centered loosely around poker, but it's, uh, it's more than that for sure. Uh, we did a Let's Try a video on this, and I had a blast, and a lot of people seem to really, really be vocally in support of this being turned into a series. I got uh, requests for this all over the place, which is exciting. So, we shall go in. It's been a week or so since I played, so we'll probably have to get a little bit of uh, relearning done for ourselves. but we're going to be playing as the knight. There's a lot more characters than this, from what I gather. Uh, we just unlock them in a row, but as far as I'm aware, there's apparently, like, tons. So... Variability in runs is apparently going to be quite high, which is neat. So we can either play with uh, upgrades between runs, like in a roguelite fashion, or the roguelike fashion where we play classic, where there's no upgrades, and we get more uh, more score and stuff like that as a as a reward. Anyways, you reached Castle Hearts in your last run. I yeah, I, I just canceled the last run from the <laughs> Let's Try. Choose your world modifier. Your starting items are swapped with items from another hero chosen randomly. Start with 10 extra gems, 10 max gems, but minus money. Cancel to choose a different hero. Uh, you know, let's say no modifiers for now. Uh, you currently have a run in progress. Are you sure you would like to? Absolutely. Okay. Oh, we unlocked the rogue. We'll, we'll play as them tomorrow. <laughs> We've also, uh, we're almost getting towards the mage there. So here we go. We have our big graph, our big map, if you will, probably better than a graph. We've got all of our battles here. We can pick and choose what we want to go for. Uh, I'm actually not sure what the wealthy hoarder does. I mean, I can make an assumption. Uh, let's. The hoarder will buy as many of your gems as you're willing to sell. So those are kind of a, a resource that we can use in combat to help us out kind of kind of like a mana system sort of uh more or less it'll help us draw more cards which will basically help to mitigate rng uh but you know what let's go fight this uh the angry bull so we can get in and explain the game briefly for those who have not seen so we draw our hand here we only get we get to draw two cards right now we there will be ways to upgrade that in the future uh, but as of right now, we draw two cards from the deck, and that is what we can utilize uh, into our abilities down here. The Knight Sword can take up to two cards, and then we attack for the damage of whatever they add up to, and face cards are worth 10. I believe aces are worth 11. Uh, the Shield of Spades takes two cards, and then it would block damage equal to that amount. Uh, so basically... Whatever we draw is going to really fundamentally change what we can do. There's going to be some equipment that requires pairs, some that requires, you know, hearts, heart cards, some that require very specific things, cards with a value under a certain amount. We're going to get all kinds of stuff. Right now we're playing as the most basic character with the most basic equipment. If we put in a pair, you, will, you may notice right here though, if we put in a pair, we do 50% extra damage. So we actually do get a really good starting turn here. You can see... Uh, theoretically, this should add up to 20, but we do that extra 50%, so it says right there we are going to attack for 30, so let's do it. We've attacked him for 30. This over here is his hand right here. We can sort the cards he's got just to help us with clarity for whatever reason. Uh, no card costs, unlock 100. So as soon as he puts in 100 card value, which is currently, you can see, 17, 3, 4, 7, king 10 so 17 he's gonna put that in there and as soon as he puts in a hundred it looks like he gets to do something he gets to attack us for 53 damage so this is kind of just a he's a bit of a dps race boss our boss enemy i guess for now so he's down to 83 it's not too oh my god so that's 33 i mean we are getting kind of absolutely crazy draws here absolutely crazy draws because we can just get a kill right now because this should add up to i mean 16 we, we, we got more than enough we didn't have to do anything else there but we could have blocked as well if it was a different enemy that was going to do more frequent attacks or something we can put cards in there we can block uh basically if we're always using it we can use it every other turn uh to mitigate some damage so we don't die as quickly uh, gems and energy we will showcase uh, a little bit more in the future there they're, they're basically just in in fight spells that we can utilize to make the fights easier 
uh, and they will recoup recuperate after fights and stuff like that too, uh, a little bit. Pay some of your poker chips, which is just gold, to upgrade an item of your choice. But you you may upgrade multiple times, but the cost goes up each time. I mean, let's go for it. View the trader's wares. This is all you got? Oh, wait. Oh, this is before we even made it there. So we've got... We could buy gems, uh, you know. I'll, okay, fine. I'll find... The game really wants me to explain them now. Uh, gems, you can see right here. You can spend one of them to draw two extra cards. Uh, it's as simple as that. It's kind of just a way to... If you got a bad draw and you're really in a pickle, you can spend one of these to get a better hand, basically. You have four cards to choose from. Uh, energy... Basically, if they get a really good hand, you can expend energy for energy to stun them, getting rid of their cards. Uh, I don't know if that's the same for every character, but that is what it is for the character that we have right now. So, I, uh, I'm not interested in this stuff right now. Food is just going to be a resource that we need to care about in order to, uh, like, every space we move costs a food. Uh, so that could become an issue in the future. Otherwise, if we don't have food, then we start to take damage every time we move. Basically, just make sure you have food. Uh, all right, let's go here before we were so rudely interrupted. Upgrade one of your items for its standard upgrade cost. Uh, so how do we see... Okay, so we could spend... Let's see, 15 poker chips to make it so... Pairs instead do 100%. They do two times the damage instead of only 50% more. Eh? Maybe. What is the upgrade on this? It's really cheap. It makes it so we can put in... Instead of having to put in two cards of value, we could put in one. That doesn't really line up with what I care about right now. I care about big number. So we didn't have enough money to, uh, to go for anything else there. We got an elite battle. The Toxic Mechanoid. Let's go for it. So if we win here, we get two, uh, two extra gems back there which is pretty nice. Because th this comes back, you get two after every time you uh, move on the field. This, I guess, d I don't think it comes back unless we get into one of these uh, where it says plus two after combat. That's just because on the world map it said we were going to get two. All right. What do we got here? No card cost. I, I, I fought you. I fought you a week ago. Heck. What, 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 what did you do here? No card cost. Add an extra draw card. Okay. So basically, he has one hidden card. Some enemies are going to utilize this mechanic where we can't see all of their cards. But basically, he can't do anything until the cards he has can add up to 20. So we know on this first turn, it, what's the best case scenario this, for him? This is an ace, which is 11. That cannot equal 20. Next turn, he's going to draw an additional card, and we will be able to see that one. That's why it says visible. Uh, but... Honestly, it's unlikely that he'll, he'll get a 20. It's unlikely. It's possible, but it's unlikely. I'm going to do a draw here. I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed. I'll, I'll attack with 19, but obviously some kind of like a pair would have been better. Uh, no point putting these in on my shield and putting it on cooldown. Oh, my God. I mean, that's, that's pretty good. Oh, shoot. Okay. There is a real chance. There's a very real chance that he has a 20 because this hidden card could... It just has to be a 10. I mean, we know that the face is... I'm going to go with the damage because that's 40 damage. That's kind of hard to pass up. Fingers crossed he does not have a 10. Oh, you dirty dog. We've been poisoned. Okay. So when poison, you lose the amount of, you know, poison life at the beginning of your turn. And then it's reduced by 33%. The good news is we do get to kill you right now, because otherwise that could have gotten nasty. We're getting some absolutely stacked, uh, stacked rolls here. All right, we can buy an upgrade here. I feel like I kind of want to uh, wait and upgrade my number of cards drawn. It seems like one of the biggest, uh, biggest situations there. We can upgrade our gem draw, which makes it so instead of two cards, we draw three. We can make it so we can see further on the map. Like, these upgrades are, are smaller, of course, but they also cost less. And then there's also, we could buy an extra item slot. So, our items, we have the sword and we have the shield. Those are two items. We have three slots, though, so I'm not really, I'm not too worried about it. Restore 15%. I mean, we can just go here. We can restore 15% of our max life. We can 
spend five energy to gain two food. I think I'm going to do that because we started to get into a situation when we played last where we uh, could have ran out of food. We don't have any consumables, so I'll, I'll say, sure, I'll fill it. So a battle for three chips. Or that is there any reason am I is there any reason on earth to fight you when there is a pile of four chips right here? I don't think so, right? Thanks. Hello there, one eyed giant. It is the fool. You're not quite sure where he came from. He offers you a choice. Could gain a random item. I believe this is here. Hold on. Is it, it, what stage of early access is this? It uh, it went. I can't remember when it went into early access, but it's uh, it seems pretty darn full fledged. Version fifty four. They they are doing. Wow, they are doing so many updates. Let's get a random item. Holy moly, mother of God! Precise axe of flame. If we put in cards equaling exactly twenty one. We will inflame them for 32. Inflame causes target items to become inflamed for the amount. When activating those items, the inflamed is removed and the owner takes an damage. So basically, it's, uh, we curse them. So if they want to use their ability, they have to, and I believe we get to pick the ability. Then they have to take a lot of damage. All right, so what's going on here? Any cards adding to at least 10. So we, we know we're fine. We're not going to take damage. But my question is, like, could we add up to 21? Oh, my God. I don't know if it's a great idea. We'll, we'll do that, though. So it's gonna go down 33%, but if he wants to okay, so he's gonna he's going to use it. Like, I'm pretty confident. So let's put on our block. We block 16 of this damage. He's still gonna get an overflow of uh of seven. But he's gonna take 24 if he does it. Yeah, alright, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with it. Oh my god! Wait. So it did, what do you mean it blinks his eye? Is it literally just it doesn't do anything? So he needs to roll between basically a 10 and a 15 to do big damage. Otherwise, maybe this maybe when he blinks his eye, something terrible will happen. I, I'm a little bit scared. Hopefully that doesn't stop him from doing it. Nice. Okay, we take those. We take those. We take those. He... Okay, he got what he needed there. I can't kill him, so I can either draw more gems and probably not find lethal. Unless I get... Unless I get a pair. I would need to get a pair. That's... Uh, like, I would need to get a king, basically. I could also use my energy here, which will make it so he discards those cards, which I feel like I'm a little bit more comfortable with, because we should get lethal this turn. Sure thing. Goodbye. All right, so let's make it so we can draw an extra card now. Now we draw three cards instead of two, just all the time. That's pretty huge. All right, so campsite, what happens there? I mean... I kind of like the idea of going to fight the giant rat. It gives us two chips, two food, and a gem. Seems relatively good. Sets us up so we could fight this elite battle, too. Found a fruit tree. Nice! Don't mind if I do. Pair. Oh, I got a pair of fours. So he's going to attack me for 20. Oi. Yes, we'll do that, and then we'll just 
drop in the three. Why not? So we'll block all but five so that we guarantee that the rat will take that 32 damage. No pairs. We're good. We're, go we're good. We're golden. 2 on T1. That's what you meant. 2 on T1. 24. We don't have enough. Uh... Let's just mostly block it. Cause, all right, yeah. Cause that's what I, uh, that's what I was gonna say. Probably wasn't gonna get forty four damage. That's bonkers. Double aces, pretty huge here. Gem draw. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna upgrade the gem draw. So now when we use the gem, we'll draw three, six chips, two gems, two food, to fight the bloop. But there's the harpy. She needs a four-card flush. Four cards of the same variety. One hidden and six visible. Let's go. Let's fight the bloop. One card ranked 10 or higher. So... I think we're fine. I'm going to try and gem to see if we can... Well, first of all... Holy moly. We do 40 damage. Like, that's that's just... We do that. We have uh, 30. We cannot get a 21. So I guess we'll, we'll say, sure. Okay, good. We blocked all that. All right, we know... Oh. We actually have a lot of damage coming. We have a guaranteed amount of 36 damage, and we might even take, an, take more. Let's make... Let's make them discard that, please. Thank you. All right. Six and a six. 24 damage. Don't mind if I do. Please. No face. Thank you. All right, we're good. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, bloop. I think we should save up for more card draw. Really seems to be the uh, the quintessential idea here. It's a mechanoid, so it's kind of like what the other guy, that other guy, did, I suppose. But this one is not poisonous. Are you serious? He can attack me already, though. For the rest of combat, I think that we should make him discard right now, because I think that. That could end up being reliably nasty. All right. Uh, so how much does this do? That does 24. And we have 26. So if we do all but the five. Because we'll do that. He's going to use that. The robot's going to use that. Golden. All right. Because, yeah, like, it's a ramp character. So if we can stop that first turn of, like, super ramp, the mechanoid would have drawn three cards this turn. Ah, but I see. Overheat sets them back to... I see. I see. I assume that they were like the other one. Any cards adding to at least 33. Lose 14 health and then draw minus three. I see. So if we can just block this attack, we're actually fine. I gotcha. Alright, so I theoretically, I assume the robot will absolutely overheat. Like, I'm, I'm assuming that that's, like, how this is always built, you know? Like, they're gonna do it if they can, because otherwise, like, they would just be like, Ah, no, I don't wanna- I don't wanna die. I'd rather not just randomly die. Alright, Castle Hearts, here we go! What do you got in store? Holy moly. Draw a card of your choice. 
deuce it means two twos. Or wait, is it does it mean two twos or does it mean a two? Any two? Just like a single two card? I mean, we can't afford it. Which is a bummer. What can we buy? We can buy the couple's dagger. One eight or one nine. Then we can attack for 1.5 times. So an eight, we would attack for 12 damage and then draw a card. That's really good. That seems really good. Uh, we don't have a spot for it yet unless we want to get rid of the precise acts of flame i'm gonna keep it in my back pocket castle dungeon you see two enemies in the dungeon they both look very powerful fight both of them you'll receive 12 poker chips two food four gems let's get stupid he's an elite though five cards rank eight or lower one two three four okay it's impossible for them to happen Wait, do we have 21? We do have 21. Oh my god. Huge. Okay. Five cards spring. Okay, it's almost guaranteed you have it now. 23. I mean, we could just block. Block 15 of it. block we could draw we could make them discard i think we should draw and then figure it out from there 36 there's no way we don't have a 21 somewhere in here right okay and then we could block and then we could block 15 that sounds good 56 we didn't have it you gotta be kidding me You didn't have it? God. Okay, you can't have it. Oh my god. that The burn is going to just go away now. Uh, you can't have it. You have so much dang health. Oh, it's because of the armor. It blocks the first N damage. Ugh. And we really only have one way of actually hitting here. One, two. It's possible. It's possible. It's possible. Not what I was hoping for. Uh, okay. Does this conveniently... That does conveniently have a thing that will add up. Okay. Okay. I can't believe he didn't have it on that one turn. Ah, uh, and these are the same, but they're not. Okay, so one, two. It's, it's again, it's possible. It's possible. Ow. Well, at least the inflame went off. It is impossible. Poof. Poof, poof, poof. we discard that i think it could be a problem this is this is nasty okay it's impossible 21 or 32 maybe but well it's not it wouldn't be this turn so it would be i think we just go for the guarantee Sudden death. During sudden death, both combatants draw an extra card each round and all attack and flame. Uh, inf all attack and flame curse poison and lighting effects increase by 30% per round. Uh oh. If it, it's, if it increases, if it increases per round. Flame 30, 31. I mean, it's huge. 
I... Is this a kill? This is a kill. Holy moly, the damage is getting big there. That was spicy. Okay, four black cards. Attack for 28. Four red cards. Inflame 11. You might have it. You might not. Ow. Same thing. Same thing. We don't, and we don't know which one it is, so I can't prepare for it. This is not worth it right now. This is absolutely not worth it. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right. Um, we've got to have a twenty-one in here. But like, where do we put it? Do I block just cuz? Or do I attack so that we are eventually done here? Oh my god. Okay. Well, the inflame... Uh, honestly, all things considered, the inflame is not that big of a deal. Okay. Uh, we prepare to block. No surprises there. This one is the one that gets me because I don't know what to prepare for. That's the one that gets me. We could make him discard. Let's go big. You little goblin boy! I don't know what to do. We can obviously force, force a discard. And we should, because otherwise we might just actually die. Both of these do the same damage. That is sad. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, so 16... We would take 12. We die no matter what. Like, if we get hit, we just we just die no matter what. Because we don't have two spades. So just don't do it then. Okay, good. This one, block 19. We would take... Uh, we'd take 9. We would, we would live. We could do this, 23. Absolute. There we go. That's even better, because then we do more damage anyways. Inflame. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we're going... We're going to get hit, and we are going to die. The heart of the cards needs to save us here, because that, that's on cooldown. No, we can we can make him discard. Oh, boy. Inflame 13. We, we would just die on the spot there if we wanted to play that card. Oh my god, my booty is clencheth. Get an extra item slot. Ow. Kill me, please. Enchantress. Pay five to change in flame all to a Attack. I don't think I have inflame all. Uh, 15 to add this line to it. We don't have that. We don't have enough. What are you talking about? Why, why are you saying, like, anything that says inflame all will now become attack? Flame all, applies not flame all to enemies, or it takes any damage. I mean, eh? Eh? Thank you. Unveil the map for five locations. Pay three to gain a food. I think we're fine on that for now. Let's ditch. Oh my god. Okay, another tavern. Maybe. Honestly. I want to live. More life. Catacombs of Fear or the Treasure? 
Contain an artifact that will give you Intimidation 1, but you will have to fight. You may apply Week 1 up to N times per combat. You may apply Week 1. Okay. Should I have to fight the Guardian of the Tomb? We don't know how strong that Guardian is going to be. Don't know how weak that Guardian is going to be. This will just be a random item. An artifact, though. I, You know what? Let's... Let's do some learning. It yeah, it's it's a boss. Oh my god, our item isn't on. Ah, oh, that makes sense though. Flame shield one when hit. Flame shield. Four red cards. Oh, we we're gonna die. Like big time. This is not reusable though, so it is 34 damage. It's just straight up 34 damage. We don't we do not get the inflame all. Okay, well, first of all, that's big. I should have looked at what the flame shield was though. Prevents the next inflame attempt. Well, that's kind of a bummer. We just block for the 17 or make the them discard. Hmm. Sure. And, you know, why not? Let's just get rid of one of the flame shields, I, I guess. Alright, so there's theoretically a chance that there's no danger on this turn. There could also be lots of danger. We don't know. Oh. It's only for one turn. Well. 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 Was that a one-time use thing forever? Or was that a one-time use per battle? We'll see. This is... Hell. Nice. Okay, again, we might just be totally fine. We are not fine here. We can block the majority of it. And just say, oof, save it for a different turn there. It's kind of just like, we'd be fishing for another ace or a queen, which could be, could make a big difference. Like, I do think that I will probably die otherwise. Can we make 21 for no reason? Sure thing. No ace, none of, oh my god, this is... I should not be here, man. There's another ace. What does this add up to? 16 here. We've got... Oh. Mm. Uh, it's still 18 damage. It's pretty big. Actually. So like that. This is set up to 21. We might get in flame all the There's a real chance. 50-50. Ah. Uh... Oh no. Oh, this is bad. 12, or we can do 21. Does it happen? It happens after that. So we're going to take a whopping 13 still. We're probably going to die either way if we don't do this. So maybe we just go in on the SWAD. Maybe we just do it anyway. 16 damage. Sure. Down to 5. 
Ah, uh, we've died. This guy's nasty. I mean, I didn't know that I was going to get into... I knew it was going to be a guardian. It didn't say guardian of the seven realms, destroyer of any hope. Oh, my God. Holy bully. Well, the good news is we have unlocked the mage, and we are on our way to unlocking the queen. Uh, Jiminy. Well... Yeah, it was not great. Not a great run, but it was a good attempt nonetheless. Good attempt, a good attempt. We're level three there, so we got the rogue. Let's take a moment to see what some of these characters do differently here. A two-card straight, so simple, just like a an ace and then a two, a two and then a three, a four and then a five, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And then we do two times that damage. It has a cooldown of one, so we can only do it every other turn. And then the knife which just does whatever damage all the time. Like, it just does one card, one card's worth of damage every turn. But there is no defensive capability. Starts with a scroll of vulnerability that can be used, looks like, three times. You can spend three energy to steal a card of your choice. That's pretty fun. All right, they are they are hyper different than the uh, than the knight. Absolutely, night and day different. <laughs> night and day different there's also the mage here we've got magic missile you put in a pair to attack for double so it's kind of like the kind of like how i was using the knight sword more or less but very strict up to three cards we can stash three cards which means you can put them in there for a later turn basically uh interesting bag of tricks cycle up to two cards of your choice Discard them and uh, and then replaces them. I can also you can also do it to the enemy, but it costs one mana or whatever. But she's got a bigger mana pool. Very neat. Cannot be inflamed. And then starts with the potion of life as well. You may sp spend one energy during your turn in combat to reveal a card. That is neat. Wow, I yeah, I really like how different these characters are. And, like, every single patch that I'm noticing here seems to be, like, basically adding an entire uh, character every few... Like, every patch, every two patches. Uh, new hero, the tortoise. What the heck? Yeah, some of these some of these look wild. I'm, I'm very excited uh, to see where this goes. I wish we obviously went a little bit further here today, but alas, alas, that is that. That is going to do it to do it to it for the day for poker quests make sure to subscribe make sure to do the likes and the comments and stuff that stuff genuinely matters in keeping this around you guys uh you guys were very vocal very vocal lots of comments uh supporting poker quest and wanting to see it back so hey prove to me that you uh you 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 liked it and you enjoyed it by liking it and telling me if you enjoyed it or not tell me what you liked about the game tell me what you're excited to see in the future but hey Subscribe, as mentioned, every single day for at least for a little while. We're going to be playing some Poker Quest. I'm excited to dive into it some more. So thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye.